Getting the US visa is more than just filling the DS-160, booking an appointment and showing up for the interview. With a rejection rate of 30% in India, getting a B1-B2 visa will require some serious planning. And this is exactly what I talk about in today's video. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and welcome back. I'm a travel and a visa coach and on this channel, you will find lots of useful videos on the US visa process and these videos tell you everything about the steps involved, uh, how to answer your questions, how to fill the form, the documentation and so on. But in today's video, we are going to do something different. I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you the process and the steps that you need to take to make sure that you are visa ready and you are able to give the perfect answer to the visa officer. Let's get started. So step number one is to prepare your answer. So once you have filled your DS-160, you have submitted it and you have booked your appointment, immediately get into the preparation mode. From my experience, I can tell you that a lot of people skip this. They think that they will just show up for the interview and you know give the answers on the spot. And this is a huge mistake. Do not do this. Prepare yourself well for the interview. And if you're wondering what are the questions that could be asked and what are the answers that I can give, do check out all these videos on my channel, which tell you very specifically about the questions to expect and how to answer them. And to make this process even more simple and hassle-free for you, I have something. This is called an interview toolkit. This toolkit consists of six video modules. It is me talking to you directly. And through these modules, I will prepare you for all the important questions which can come up in the US visa interview. I will show you exactly how to frame your answers, how to structure them and also give tons of sample answers. So if you're interested, do check the link in the description box below and get your interview toolkit. So once you have prepared the answers, the next thing that you need to do is practice. Now practice makes everyone perfect and this couldn't be more true in the case of a US visa interview. Now if you're wondering how do I go about practicing my answers, there are various ways in which you can do this. Catch hold of a friend or a colleague, ask them to ask you the questions and speak out the answers aloud to them. Do this multiple number of times till you feel completely ready. If that's not an option, stand in front of a mirror. Look at yourself in the mirror and tell the answers. And do this again and again and again till the answers are just coming naturally to you and it feels completely normal. And if this also is not an option, then hey, I am there for you. You can book a practice interview with me. This will be done on a video call. It will be a one-to-one -one session and I'm going to make it as close as possible to the actual visa interview. I'm going to check the content of your answers and also other things such as your body language, your confidence level and your eye contact. Do check the link in the description box below to book this practice interview. Now, coming to the third part. So while you are preparing the answers and practicing them, I have some special insider tips for you. And these are the things that I tell my paid clients and it works for them every single time and I want to share them with you as well. So I have two insider tips. The first one is when you're preparing and practicing your answers, do it by writing it down. Do not frame it in your mind. Do not think that, okay, I have got this. Trust me, you haven't. Make sure to grab hold of a pen and paper and write it down or type it out on your mobile or your laptop. The second insider tip is be extremely thorough with your DS-160. Be well versed with each and every word that is written in your DS-160. And if this is not your first visa interview, then make sure that you are thorough with your previous DS-160s as well. This is the document that the visa officer has in front of him when you go for your interview and it's extremely important that you are fully aware of what you have written. And do keep in mind that there can be a significant gap between when you filled your DS-160 and the day you appear for your interview. So it is possible that you could have written something and then you know completely forgotten about it. So make sure that before you step into that interview, you read your DS-160 multiple times and you are thorough with it. Now, coming to the fourth thing. If you have followed all the three things that we have discussed so far, then I can guarantee you that you will feel ready and 100% confident for the interview. But just to round things off, in this particular point, I'm going to tell you some tips and some things that you can do on the D-Day, that is on the day of your interview. The first one is to plan out what you're going to wear. So the US visa interview doesn't really have a dress code, but it is important to dress formally and to be well presented. You don't need to wear full formals. You don't need to wear a suit and a tie and everything. Business casuals, semi-formals are good enough. 
but make sure that your outfit is neat you are well groomed and you are looking presentable second thing to do on the d day is to go through your answers so like i told you earlier make sure that your answers are written and accessible to you so before you go for your interview make sure that you go through these answers and revise them and feel ready third thing to do on the d day is to arrive 20 minutes before your interview slot there is no point in arriving hours earlier because they are not going to allow you inside and you will just be waiting outside in the hot sun so make sure that you arrive somewhere about 15 to 20 minutes before your interview slot so that you don't drain yourself out by just waiting and waiting and the fourth and the most important thing is to remain calm remember that the visa officer is there to give you the visa he is there to facilitate the process he is not there to make your life difficult and you have prepared well for it you are ready for it so keep that in mind maintain eye contact have a smile on your face and answer the questions calmly so guys this is it this is the holy cheat code to being 100% prepared for the us visa interview do follow all the things that i have mentioned religiously they work these are tried and tested methods there are the things that i work with my paid clients and i can guarantee you that i have seen results also check out all the resources that i have mentioned in the video the description box below will have the links to booking the practice interview to getting the interview toolkit and also a lot of other useful videos so make sure that you read the description box thoroughly in case you have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below you can also dm me on instagram my instagram handle is at chachi.mal i'll be happy to help you out thank you so much for watching signing off for now i'll see you in the next one bye